All right, what up, tube? Uh, coming at you. I see the trailer empty. Just got finished dropping the Chevelle off. Um, over at my guy's place. See it sitting in there. Um, see it sitting in there. Gonna get ready to go ahead and uh, put some work into it. He said it's gonna take him a minute because he got some other stuff in there. So he said I'd give him about, you know, four weeks or so. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him four weeks, see if he can knock it out. I mean, he should be able to knock it out. It shouldn't be a problem, but um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure um, it'll be right. So anyway, too, um, I'm gonna get working on some other stuff while I can at the, at the house. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to y'all, man. Uh -huh. All right, what up, tube? Um, coming at you. Um, doing some quick little mock up while the Chevelle is over at the shop still. Um, shaved off the license plate area. Um, and then what I did was I had a 69, 68, somewhere, right, somewhere around there. It's a lower balance for a Camaro. All right, so um, the lower balance for a Camaro, um, and uh, I wanted the fog lights out of it so I can run um, halo fog lights in my Chevelle, my bumper. So what I did was I chopped them all out. Um, you can get an idea. Basically, I'm going to cut a hole, and then I'm going to push them in and weld them all in, French them in. Um, I'm gonna do both sides here, and then. Uh, but I'm I'm not gonna do that until the until I get my Chevelle back. Uh, once I get the Chevelle back, then I'll uh, go ahead and get everything on, mock everything up so I know measure everything out, know where I'm cutting at, where I'm going to be placing those at in comparison to the um, fog. I mean, to the regular lights that's going to be on the Chevelle. Uh, one of the other things I'm going to be doing. Back bumper, um, got it all kind of rolled up on, but um, I was able to pick these up from a junkyard. I'm gonna French these in. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna go on this side or if the other one's gonna go on this side, but you can see I'm gonna French these in. I'm gonna come up here. Um, I'm gonna cut that all out, and I'm gonna either try to make a valance or I seen one that I wanted to order. Um, order of valance um, but basically it's going to recess all in here the valance part is going to be right in there so I'm going to have to create a panel here um, and then uh, also make sure that this back bumper is nice and smooth um, so yeah I got some work still left out to do while the heavy work is getting done right now at the shop I can uh, go ahead and, and start focusing on getting some of this stuff done um, we'll see how I'm going to run the exhaust. Um, I was actually thinking just run it regular. Um, we'll see what side I'm going to put it on and all that other jazz. But um, this is a small inlet. If I can cut a diameter as big as um, three and a half inches, um, I'll, I don't see myself running anything over three inches exhaust wise. So, yeah, tube, stay tuned. Um, I'm still out here grinding, trying to trying to get things done. So I holler at you too. All right, what up, too? Coming at you. Um, got the uh, fog light tack welded in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave it just like that until um, I get the car back. So I can uh, put it on there. See if I need to make some adjustments versus welding it all the way through. I'll go ahead and get started on this one here. I'm getting that one cut out and uh, getting the hub shaped out. This one's a little bit bigger, so I know I'm gonna have to do some shaping. But, yeah, stay tuned and uh, I'll bring some more of that footage. 
power tube as you can see mock-up is done on that um, so now moving on to the next thing which is going to be the um, area for my exhaust tips I'm gonna run some uh, smoother exhaust tips out and have it go through the uh, lower balance um, I may be doing um, some other stuff as far as recessing it in and putting a uh, a, uh, a lower balance in there kind of trying to make one see how that works out but yeah so got part a done and then now look at working on part b i'm gonna just get it all roughly roughly done cut in and all that stuff and then i'll put the final touches on it when i actually get my car back from uh getting the rear end i mean the rear uh the the uh the trunk pan put in so yeah just stay tuned too and i get at you